I'm on that one. Oh, and a $10 super chat. Very nice. Uh, thank you, Bob, for the donation. Um, I have the DJI V2 goggles, and I want to install an air unit with recording capabilities on a fixed-wing plane. Should I go with the original air unit or the O3? Oh, that's a tough one, Bob. So the original air unit has a bug that, to my to my understanding, still isn't fixed, where you get an SD card slow error, and it's not the SD card that's the problem. It's a bug in the firmware. It hasn't been fixed, and at this point, it probably never will be fixed. Many people consider the onboard recording of the original air unit to be essentially non-functional because of this bug. Um, so don't use the original air unit, but the O3 has its own problem. So the O3, great recording, onboard recording, wonderful, fantastic, perfect. Uh, but the problem with the O3 is that unless you hook it to a flight controller that tells it that it's armed, it will not go to full power. So if your fixed wing plane has a flight controller, you're good to go. But if your fixed wing plane is just a receiver and some servos, then life gets more complicated. Um, Blunty, isn't there a device we covered on the news that will fake out the O3 to think it's uh, uh, connected to a flight controller? I know we covered it, but I can't remember what it's called. Uh, yes. Yeah. I'm putting you on the spot. I think somebody in the chat can probably mention it. We've talked about Maybe. it uh, just recently in the Discord, but I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. If anybody in the Discord or in the chat can remember the name of the device that you saw as you connect to your O3 to fake it out, to think you have a flight controller when you don't really have one. Uh, Toasty, you can disable low power mode, but the O3 air unit still won't go to full power until you give it a flight controller. That's the that's the reason you need to fake it out. On the on the Vista generation of video transmitters, if you turn on full, if you turn off temperature protection, it goes to full power and stays there. But the O3 doesn't do that. Um, yeah, the O3 needs a flight controller. The thing is that the O3, when it says temperature protection, it doesn't reduce its output power. It reduces its frame rate, and it has a worse sort of encoding so that the processor is not working as hard, but the output power is what it is. So when you turn off temperature protection, now the frame rate and the encoding is always the same, but it's still not at max power until you give it a flight controller. Yeah, okay, no one's remembering the name. O3 fake, no, that's, that's made up. Uh, if anybody finds it, we covered it on the FPV News. I can't remember the name of it. It's an Arduino project. Uh, Eirik Toft has found the project we were trying to find. This is the project. I don't care if it's a birthday. I need an answer to my question. Okay, we'll see. Um... Arduino DJI O3 RC arm. This is the project you need if you want to fly an O3 air unit on a fixed wing with no flight controller. Good luck. Thank you, Eric Toft, for finding that for me. 